Okay. Yeah. Uh, I did it. I went back to my couple times. There we go. Uh, Where? I see Chris. Why is it not sharing now? Oh, okay. Who's that blue Haven that does the pool? Mm, the sales guys jump a little. Okay. The guy who's like managing is Tad. Tad. Forgot his last name. I mean, I'm just trying to think of like. Think about. Tad Underwood is the guy. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I. Um, Where are you? Um, I'm on Rifle Range, so okay. I'm. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Um. So <laughs> the brother. Yeah. Right. yeah. How are you doing tonight? We're doing tonight. Nice. But my brother feels like he felt really like passionate about like the night cracks. Can I do that? Sure. I regret that issue. No, so, oh, okay. he's really happy about okay. whatever class. Yeah. But um, when I asked Jeff that, I was like, okay, I'm hearing like this is not the way to go. And he said it's changed a lot over the years. Like, yeah, I, I've seen a lot of them. Yeah. A lot of them that have issues okay. don't have issues. I have not heard of them yet. Your computer charged. Hopefully, it's just yeah. it's not the shoot there. It's recording and yeah. it's, it is. Cool. And it's unmuted. So, just so you know. So, <laughs> so watch your tongue. Say that. Mind your tongue. Yeah. Mind your tongue, John. <laughs> I got it. Now you're done. You know, Can I grab um, the whatever you need? Thank you. Let me know if you need anything. I'll be I mean, over yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're gonna do great. I know. <laughs> well, we talk about anyway. I mean, you know, we're trying to keep busy. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to keep busy. Yeah. 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 Be careful all day. Yeah. Yeah. It just yeah. made sense. I had to go downtown yeah. and pick up Keith's book from instead of West Ashley. Yes, okay. So if you ever want to come to your chair, I got something <laughs> off of so far. Uh, I've been on the market for 40 days. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
she was in her she was dying by the end of us i told you where is she looking yes you saw her i think she's probably going to end up in some yeah We'll see. Yeah. Berkeley County can be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's some of the time. Yeah. 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 That's Berkeley yeah, County. Exactly. No, I know. Elder has been bringing up and reading on her for a while. I'm sure. sure. And now it's like, that's what I said. Berkeley County. Boss, right next to you. Ah, thank you. I was like, is that thing is. You want to find out one so yeah, I'm used to like a Mac, so my finger things do different yeah. things. So I was like, uh oh, I'll make it. I think I, think I uh, no, not perfect. Sweet. Do people register? I, I got. I got voluntold last night. Voluntold. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I've not heard that term. <laughs> I got voluntold last night. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. No, I uh, I was sitting in my. I got home last night and and I was like, thanks again. I was like, I, my email's been down all day yesterday since twelve o five because like my CRMs are switching over. Something stupid in the back end that I didn't know I had to do because I'm not technology based. I was like, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. I missed it. He's like, yeah, I just, I just hustled you to do this to the classroom. I'm in Greenville. I was like, no, I'm kidding. I, I, I knew he was in Greenville, but um, I don't blame him. He's, a, why would he want to do it when he's out of town? So, and I, I mean, him talk about this stuff all the time. So you're getting like Anton, like light, but smart enough to know enough. Yeah. And I know Susie's back here somewhere, and I know that she wants to work on her comp with her. Good, because she had a really hard comp. Her beachfront home is really hard to comp. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a great house, is it? No. It's, a, it's the one that's like over 10 million, I think. Yeah. So, like, me and Anton worked on that like a couple weeks ago, like, just saying, like, how many have sold in our market? She used to the market, and you look at showing data, how many showings are actually happening? It's like, you know, the, the reason you're not selling there's been four showings in like eight months. Like, I mean, it's a, it's a very small market for anything over ten million dollars, except for like the few on Sullivan's Island, right? From so. but I was interested in trying to do it, but I, that takes a little bit more than the class. And I think that takes like actually like really studying too much. And that's not typical for it's far from typical, right? Like <laughs> it's not the same as like, hey, I have a house in Westcott. What do I do? Hey, I have a home in Carolina Park. What do I do? Because even those are yeah, it's interesting. Did anyone bring properties with them that they want to work on? Property? Yeah, a property. A property. Uh, yeah. Yes. Good. Coming up. Yeah. Which one? Okay. Do you use where will it be then? It's on um it's much better. 
Oh. Yeah, no, that's a tough market. Actually, yeah, so we help me. Yeah. Yeah, no. Battling new construction is tough. And they're like, we're doing great for $399. All of a sudden, you're like, whoa. Just talked about that. You know, you have to create a similar incentive. Yeah, we did a closing final incentive. I did a either or situation. Yeah. The closing cost of Did you guys ever sell? I know, I was like, wait. Did it ever? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did it ever? Of course, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I feel about mine in the next one. Yeah. Yeah. And it's felt yeah. kind of yeah. 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 your Where was yours in someone's corner? Oh, yeah. um, hey, hey, how are you? You're not getting Anton. You got hoodwinked. What's that? You got hoodwinked. <laughs> you got hoodwinked. Uh, got gotcha you in the sorry. office. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want all this here. I was like, oh, I am. No problem. I drive all the way. I know you did. Don't worry. Trust me. So I said you got hoodwinked in the beginning. I know. I was really. They had talked. I was. Yeah. I mean, obviously. We'll get them back on the books where he's not going to rebuild. I want to make sure that. Oh, this is that thing you want to. Where I write. It's the end of the year. I mean, I don't change. No, this is not the issue. Is there a water or something? Up on the back. back. Yeah, that's back, right. Yeah. Right. They have the not not yeah, he's in Greenville. <laughs> he's enjoying himself in yeah. the beautiful weather, I'm sure. It's probably perfect up there right now. Yeah, I think it is. It's and then it's two things kind of sometimes we can just keep it small. It's also changes. Uh, my social media person is like talking about accountability. Like every week on Friday, she's like, So what's for next week? And I'm like, This is the last thing I want to see. Your job, I don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah, she does kind of make me like, but she does things with what I give her, but I have to, so I don't have to pick her one, you know, help her what I'm doing. You have a view of quite well. I'm glad you got money back. What do oh, you want to do? Okay, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this makes something. What do you think we should do? Yeah. Oh, I like that idea. Run with that. That'll be interesting. Uh, I think I'm uh, so curious. We're not where I want to start. So now I'm going to start. Good. Um, I um, finally closed with my and you don't have to act us in that neighborhood. Yeah. Well, it, it was like, <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I'm I'm I can literally, I need one of those kids, someone that could have, like, you know, running around. They haven't worked with them. How long have they done? Is it like, they're in New York, so they're just selling their house in New York and it's doing more, or they're moving between here. And they close, they call to me and they're like, so in order to turn the water on, you have to get the sewer. How dare they make me go in Social security number, credit card number, everything, and like in the midst of all this, like I don't want to know your social security number. Right. All right, we'll get started a few minutes early. Um, Sorry for Anton not being here. As I mentioned earlier, I was voluntold around seven o'clock last night, but I'll be doing that. So, <laughs> yay. yay! Good news is I've done a lot of these with him, and we, this is all we talk about every day. Um, the goal of this class was for you to bring a subject property and us kind of work it together as a group, make it more of a workshop than more of a, hey, I'm sitting here doing it for you. You see it, you go home, and and that's that. And you don't really remember how to walk through this. Uh, there are a lot of different areas of town. Um, so if anyone has a subject property that they can give me maybe like the neighborhood, the size of the home, bedrooms, age, you know, depending on where it's at, like is the whole neighborhood the same? Is there new construction within the neighborhood? Like how are we going to kind of like work through this together? Uh, that would be great. Otherwise, I can just start making stuff up. One, then we'll go with you next, okay? 
Go ahead, Claire. Start with them. Okay, it doesn't so matter who. Have an Do you have an existing listing? Um, I have one coming up. Okay, well, they're both coming up. It doesn't matter to me, man. Like, I'm existing one. You have an existing one? Are you working on price reduction? I'm guessing. Yes. Let's work with uh, since he gave me his computer, we gotta go, we gotta, we gotta get him first, right? Um, what's the neighborhood? Uh, well, Cane Bay subdivision. Oh, geez. Space, space. You can tell I go up there a lot. Subsection is well. I'm, I'm, I'm curious, like, is there actually like my fear of doing subsections are some agents don't put subsections in and some agents do. Yeah. They do up there. I know it does. I'm just saying I know lazy agents that just put Cane Bay and leave it at that. So I always like to go and map out the section if you could, if you can. Right. Um, L I N D E R A. L I N D D E Lindera. Yep. So is that about right? 16 available? Yep. Oh boy. That's including new construction. Okay. Including new construction. And how old's your home? Three years. Was that talking to me? Or is that on someone else's Zoom? You, oh. You include you new construction. Yeah. I do just to show them. If, so, like for example, we're at five hundred right now. Their same model, a similar model, is going for four six. Yeah, I always do. So, oh, I know. Like, I actually have one. Yeah, right now. I might need you to come up here and help me with your computer, man. Because they're still a competitor. They are still a competitor because the exactly the incentives that they're going to give versus what they're at here. Oh, never mind. I figured out there's a scroll. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm a Mac guy. I'm so sorry, man. I, I'm a Mac guy. This is. This is a new Mac. So, what year was yours built? I'm not this. Not this. The house. The house. Uh, okay. Twenty one. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. There. That's what they're called now. Don't just come and find us. Hey, Charles. Okay. Yeah. That is very finicky. Yes. Sorry, y'all. I'm not on my computer. So, challenges of a, a very challenged person here. <laughs> um, it is the truth, though. What? How so about people don't put the sec subsection? Um, I always do the map. Do that way. I do the same thing. You, you can draw it. So why is this not want to do what I want to do? Use shift and then press down. Um, shift. Not a particular reason why you don't put the picture Coming soon, because they're not my competition at this moment. And if I'm trying to get a price reduction, I might look at that and say, hey, this is coming on the market, right? But I'm going to do it in here and go into Cloud CMA because they're, they're not actively there. They're not being shown yet. This is the goal to get ahead of them. And if I can do a Cloud CMA and then I can go on coming soon and be like, hey, there's four more homes and this is where the CMA is telling me we should be placed, but they're either priced better than where we are. That means like we, we are behind the curve even further than the actual CMA is showing. Does that make sense? No. I'll wait. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll include them. <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, once I get my pricing done, right? I have here's my graph. Here's what I think we should be priced. I'll go back in and say what else is coming up. Okay. If they're priced better than what I'm thinking, then I gotta go back to my redrawing board for my client and say, hey, here's where I think the market's telling us. Mm -hmm. But here's where other people are coming on competition, and they're gonna be better than what the market is actually telling us at this moment. <laughs> so, like, typically coming soon aren't gonna be below what you're probably pricing them at, or you're trying to. But I will, I mean, I'll, I'll include them. No, no, you're fine. Yeah. And I also don't deal with cane base. I don't know how many coming soon you guys have on any given time up there. Like, I don't really see a ton of coming soon in the areas I pay attention to. They usually don't go on until. How far back do you guys go on your search inventory? Six so at least. Six so at the least. If I get too many, I go three. I was going to say, I, I like doing 90. Um, if there if there's enough activity, I like to do yeah. ninety because that's a much sharper window of time than one hundred eighty. Oh, there are areas where you might have to go back two years, and two years in this market isn't horrible because I feel like pricing has been very flat. Like the peak of 21, 22, like we had a medium sales price of four twenty five in June, and this one we had four twenty five, so it's 
two years later, same kind of median price point. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go back in 90 because there's probably way too much uh, in here. Yeah. Does everyone know how to go to the cloud CMA? Just type in 90 and it'll do. Yep, yeah. 90 days back. If you click on the layers, whole change of the and if you yeah, like yeah, 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 I always put the layer. I just want to three things up and literally about yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah, I've never oh, touched yeah. anything over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That was worth the drive. No, I'm like, thank you. I'm done here. I'm done here. I'm <laughs> done. Is there a reason it's not popping up? Am I? Go to list. Oh, uh, talk about the yeah. cloud seed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you didn't. I didn't it. do it. Thank yeah. you. See, you get me off my computer. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you get you in the limelight. I'm telling you. You should be up here, Jan. No, this is one for you. No, it's Anton's deal. Um, all right. So when you go to cloud CMA, it loads up in here. What's your subject property address? Two hundred two, honey horn, two words. How many beds? Yes. Right. Is that the right square footage? It's twenty eight. Another one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> See where we be at. <laughs> so go to publish reports. Yeah. View live. I like going to this one right here. This is where your subject property should be. That's your trend line. So this is a 90 day tight window. Which one are you up here? Are you this one? Yep. Oh, I know. So you can see, like, even here, like where you're at price, there's a home that's got huh, a thousand more square foot that's sold for what you're sold for. Mm -hmm. That's because we're going up against the new construction. The new construction is right here, thousand square feet more. This is your next closest one, right? Competitor, but he's also outside the realm. So typically what you see is like in a rising market, the bands will be a little bit wider, but since you have such closed data here, um, man, you're you're way out there. And the unfortunate part is like in this market, you can't be out there, yeah. right? Especially like you said, new construction is your enemy. Dude, they're offering, I mean, I just got an email from somebody saying 3.99%, I think with a DR word and the like- 30,000 off. Like what is going on? Like. You know, and that just shows you, in my humble opinion, the signs of the time. Because when builders start throwing incentives, like where were they at two years ago? Yeah. They're giving you four. They're giving you a certain amount of money. Uh, I don't know where I'll talk on that, but like right, they're giving you fourteen hundred dollars for a million dollar sale. You're like, wow, because they didn't need you. Now they need you, so they're giving you three point nine percent interest rate, thirty thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars selling bonuses, like certain builders. So. Sign of times when I see builders offering incentives, I just know they're feeling it and they're going to win over an individual home like yours because they have the money to do it. Yeah. And so you need to be better than what is out there from a new build perspective. So question about what's up there. You mm -hmm. got no canceled or we didn't pull? I didn't pull any canceled on. Okay. And then, again, like that, that, that's definitely a conversation. But I mean, if he sits out here for another 30, 60 days, you're going to cancel or you're just going to get further below that trend line. Yeah. So, right? Based on like what because Anton showed us, I just started pulling the cancel, but I never did it before yep. because then I start showing my seller. These did, people didn't make it. They, they These did people didn't make it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. I, I feel like. Still available to sell. So the thing is, in Cane Bay, a lot of agents will cancel and then put it back on. So you'll oh, yeah. see no, I... where they are. Do you want me to go back and put the canceled on there for you? Let's I'm just curious. Like that. Yeah, yeah, that's not that's not a problem at all. I mean, it's such a simple thing to do. Is there a potential? You know, we all call expires and canceled, and there's a potential that that person still wants to sell, and that they will be back on there. So maybe being aware of those in this market could be important. Just have to make sure you go looking. 
make sure that it's not relisted. Mm -hmm. But that was interesting for me to start because I never used to do cancel before to start seeing like, okay, it didn't sell it. They never were able to sell it that price. We used to look at cancel expires when we used to price homes back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't needed to. Right. We had a fairly neutral market. <laughs> Um, 202 honey, right? 202 honey, yeah. Honey horn. Honey horn. Five. 3.5. He said 28, 22. 28, 11. That was close. <laughs> we'll look at the graph and see if it changes anything because it's always fun to play with. Yeah. yeah. But it shouldn't because it's not going to populate. Yeah, yeah, but you're going to see a lot of the canceled in here. There's your subject property. Now, again, like, look at these. These are new construction. So, like, do they, do they cancel or they just, like, close it out and relist it for a new address? So, that that's the hard part. And that's some of the things you need to go in here because you can take these off. Like, obviously, you can sit here and you can remove a comp whenever you want. Uh -huh. So if you see, like, where was I doing playing with one? Uh, I was helping Renee do one um, downtown. There's a comp for 2.6. Like, delete that. That ain't that ain't the same house that we're comp. And there was one for 1.9. Delete that. Mm -hmm. But it's probably 1.2, 1.3. So we were able to get comps lower than that and have it show in the band. Um, but again, man, you can see, like, even, like, yeah, you're you're in the you're, I hate to say you're in the stratosphere, but you're up there. No. Um, and so, like, I guess it goes back to motivation for your client. Like, what is what is and that's what I talked to him about um, on Tuesday because I did a client appreciation and had my lender talk to him. And I'm like, what is more important to you, going and getting to a new construction house and take advantage of the incentives that the new construction is getting? or getting the most for your house because we're literally competing against the new construction builder that you are trying to go to. Right. And you know what incentives they are going, um, they are giving. So with, I mean, uh, a house, same house that they are in just sold for like 426. I mean, so, it's, I mean, that's yes, right. you have a playground in your backyard. You but right here though, right? That's everything. That's what I mean. They're right there. That's probably 430, 425 right yeah. there. Yeah. So they're not they're like What's, that's that's the hard part. One? Like the next one to sell is gonna be this guy if, if anyone's looking for right. that kind of square footage. So right? what's what's important to your guy, Ricardo? Um and what did he pay and what does he need to get out to make the move happen? Because right. sometimes Yeah, I, I just this dude's hard headed as hell. So I'm just like, <laughs> hey. A hard headed seller too. If, <laughs> You, you ain't make me look at or anything like, do you want to sell this or not? Yeah. <laughs> I got other listings I work. Have you sat here and showed him this and said, hey, man, here's everything that's happened in the last 90 days. And we just went past our peak closing season, not our contract writing season, exactly. our peak closing season. We're on our way to winter, man. And winter's already here. Right. Um, what's your showing activity like? Um, we actually just got a showing as we were right here. <laughs> so so it's, it's good? Cause I was gonna, do you know how to track showing activity? Yeah. You know, okay, through yeah. showing time. I think that's another thing. That that is something that you need to show because a lot of people yeah, don't know you that. Should. Mm -hmm. I so should. Showing time and, yeah. Or unless you do it differently from me. No, no, I go through showing time. Where is your showing time on here? Yeah, go, to, go to the top left. I thought it was only office. Go, only go up to the Charleston there. private. The very last one. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay, I want to see that. Right, right. Right, there, no. Yeah, sorry, y'all. I'm like, my eyes are not. Thank you. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, like, right now, I'm looking for the thing. Like, I'm the guy that orders my food, not by. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, and your dashboard's different than mine, too. Yeah. Wow. So, this is the new next generation. See, I like, to... I like to do both because the new generation doesn't show you the time it was shown, it doesn't show you the address, it just shows you the agents that showed it. You need to show me how to get the new generation because I'm on the old. <laughs> The old generation is actually better. I, I I'm good. Then I'm not changing my thing up. I yeah, I like the new one. I go both. I do both. So you can't make. Does thing. it allow you to do subsections on here? No. No. Are you doing your list? You can do detached. Detached. Oh, I think we only have detached out there. Right there. Only detached. Yeah. 
and then do past 60 days. Oh, it doesn't let you do your custom, oh, custom. cool. So I always like to do, like, here's what I do every Monday morning for my sellers. I go through showing time. I show them, here's how many showings have happened in your neighborhood. Here's how many showings have happened in your MLS search area. Here's how many showings have happened in our Charleston MLS complete area. Mm -hmm. So you can see like there are 60 showings in the whole thing, but there's only been three in your area. And there's only been one in your neighborhood. We didn't right. get that one, right? Like, I like to paint the picture every Monday. We're, we're priced out yeah. Mondays again, right? It's, it's right. back to- Stop it the wrong way, because I thought, you, I thought like you, it was only for our brokerage. Mm -hmm. And then I tell them, I'm like, um, it's really so, I use this in my listing presentation. Could you also I do the same thing. And find the agents who are showing that they have a listing too. You want to share yeah. it? <laughs> Let's just go four yeah. bedrooms. You good? You did. 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 You week basically right I, I thought i did a custom did i not that's 30 days you said 30 days see i thought i did the I custom did a week i thought i did too i went to custom you didn't, you didn't hit set okay thank you see i'm learning new things on these new things too so last week right here's your showing activity 500 there are nine nine appointments set it's pretty good 11 appointments, nine agents. So Total showings, nine agents. agents. Dude, this is a little bit cooler. How, how do I have two different showing times? Click on the nine. Yes. I, I got prompted to update it. I don't remember. <laughs> so what I do is I get in contact with all those agents. I didn't know you yep. that. Yeah. See, I'm learning something new too. This is cool. And then you can download it. Okay, so you can call PDF. everybody or exactly. test. So it's yeah. a new one. The yeah. New yeah. And you can download so it in CBS or on the top that CSV brings me to the new version. No, go to so go to exit that out. Yeah, man. And go to exit the new the next new generation. Top okay. middle. Exit next generation. Oh. Oh, this is this is my this is my speed. This is, <laughs> no, now I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> You're playing my games now. This is perfect. Okay. I thought you could um, try oh. it out. Okay. Okay, so that's what I was doing. Different. How many showings out of the showing activity for that last week did you guys have? Just got the one. So it'll show you the one that just came up today. Yeah, if we went just from today, it'll, it'll already log it. It's been scheduled. So, I mean... Six showings in the last week. So why isn't your showing the agents? Because this is the old school, old school one. one. Only the new one does, right? Go to reports. No, nope, left. Oh, and then go to um, agent activity reports. Good no. Go to activity and comparable reports. So isn't that the one that I just looked at? Do exactly what you just did. Yes, I did. Did this right? Yeah. And you need to see the version. Change it to 30 days. Let's say it's my turn. See, and who is the agent on that one? Dan Garrison. Dan Garrison. So Ren Hutchinson just requested a show today. That usually is right there as well. But maybe it needs a happen timeline. I don't know how shot time usually works. it's 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 right there. It'll even show you showings that's for tomorrow. Oh wow. Oh well. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know that. But I don't think this so when I was at Carolina one, we had a thing called now showing, much more accurate than showing time. I've Ever since I've been uh, at Keller Williams, I was like, y'all need to do this. Yeah, how do we not do that? Well, so I've been asking labs. Carolina since. One still uses right. showing time. Carolina One uses showing time, but they have their own um, back door to the uh, MLS and showing time. Oh, I mean, showing time. Yeah, I, sh I showed that. Yeah, um, that. 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 It's it called that. the API. It's yes. the application pass through. Oh, so it just yeah. integrates. All right. Well, what did we learn about? What do we learn about your listing? 
it's overpriced. I already know that. Yeah, I know. I'm just try to get him. I'm like, if you guys don't, you show him this and that. everything. Yeah. Wow. Good luck, man. He he sounds like fun. Like you don't have to come up with pain for us this pleasure because. Did, I can I don't remember if you answered, but that's the hard part. Have to sell this one. Is it a house two years old? Yes. Well, and that's why I, that's why I brought in. What's more important to you? Mm -hmm. But you must have good eyes, man. Because this thing is tiny. It is tiny. Right. Make it bigger. Oh, yeah. Bye. I'm old. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> hey man. Don't mess with me. Uh, all right. Who else wants to do one? Okay. Um, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you too. You guys love these new construction heroes. Ooh, 74 active. Yeah. Um, we don't have to do a subsection for that. That's fine. I'm going to do the whole thing. Because it's not a horizon. Yeah. I'm just going to do a subsection. Because it's not a horizon. How old is your home up there? And there is a 50 plus community. So if you want to, you can go to the Adam 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 I think you found that the new construction there that they don't put the Adam 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 in horizon. Um, you can also exclude the sub. Maybe do subsection horizons and exclude it that way as well. Yeah. That's well. Yeah. Okay. You know how to okay to like not like horizons. No. Yeah. Not like it. Yeah. Not like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. I'm sorry. I, I was like not you. Sorry. That's in the last ninety days. Wow. Um. um with square footage, Paul. Cut it down here. Okay. So not new construction. Just, just, just for now, because that was yeah, that's that was a lot of homes to go through. Um, <laughs> what's that? Do you want a horse? Yeah, no, that's what that's what you just gave me like a little bit of a heart palpitation, like two hundred and some homes to go through. Cool. I didn't click them all. Okay, now. Thank you. Has anyone done the cloud CMA where uh, iBuyer has sent you an email for the cloud CMA you've done? I just did one recently for a, town, a condo and I got an email by uh, iBuyer. You want to get an instant offer? I was like, hmm, let's see what I can do first. Yeah. What makes you say that? Did you just, get an iBuyer from this? I got an iBuyer email from cloud CMA. Like, would you like an instant offer on this home? And I was like, really? I didn't click on it yet. It's but... like some percentage below the market. I'm sure it is, but I didn't play with it. What's your address? Uh, you're you're seven. Seven. Uh, 85. Arrow, wood, one word. Arrow. I don't, it's been spelled here. Cool. Cool. Arrow, wood, way? Yep. I know it says Ridgeville. But I know, it's the area, right? How many beds do you have? Is this square footage correct? Um, it's off the tax record, so possibly. It's not what the builder has. What the builder has? No, no, it's what the builder has. Because the tax records, are, I don't ever verify like tax yeah, records. I usually measure the house if I have two different numbers. I told him to look at the appraisal. That would be like the accurate amount. That would be very helpful. Yeah. Um, I don't like the other one. Sorry. It's okay. We'll use this one for now. Um, it is so it's the sweet grass plant, one thousand nine hundred eighty-six. Wow, that's a yeah. Oh, one. So yes, it's about a hundred less, hundred and some less. Yeah, it makes a difference, but it it can. Some I feel like because of that, a lot of them are inaccurately listed. Mm, because everyone's using the builders. Builders or the tax records, which is higher. That's why there's a disclaimer, right? <laughs> Square footage right. is important. Measure. measure and verify. Um, ooh, man. This is just 90 days of activity. Why does yours not have the gray? What do you mean? This one right here? Oh, I can't see it from there. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, it's real light up there. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, so if you guys are watching online, I did not realize. I don't know how you're recording. I was gonna say you're probably looking at this screen, but on the TV screen it's white. So, um, what were you thinking of pricing your home? Um, we were thinking around. Um, Is it single story? Four, four eighty with a five thousand incentive to compete with. So right here is four four eighty, right? Mm -hmm. So you're a little bit outside the band. Okay. Right? Like 475, you're probably. 75. Yeah, so you're probably right here, which I would say you're in the realm of like getting offers. And again, this is just saying your average, right? This isn't going into, I have no clue. I've never walked around. Does it have a better kitchen than the other one? More gourmet than more of a standard? There are different things that like, this is giving you a snapshot. And then you need to figure out what is your differences of the interior design on the inside. Is it a better lot placement, right? Good lot. It's, it's got five it's neighbors or two. Space. It's just down the street from what they're building. It's like resort style pool. Culture. So, so there's a lot of things again. Like this graph isn't telling me or telling you. So, as you as the agent, you need to know like where is it sitting. What's if I was to be out there? Where what's the proximity to the yeah. amenities? Is it a golf cart ride or do you need to jump in the car and go across? You know, a mile down the street or something. Um, so this could you know it could definitely be bumped up in there. This is just the average. This is all the same. The average line of an average home and in this market. Tell you what price or no? Unfortunately, it's not like the old one that Anton created. Okay. So you have to kind of guess. I mean, it's telling you right here. Here's your average price per square foot. But math. I yeah, I would do math. But I mean, you can tell here. This is four eighty, right? This four seventy nine. So you're right. You can tell what else. You can get an idea. So it's not horrible. It's like the red dot. That's the close. It's right on the subject property. Right here? There's an older subsection that had different. Is this your square? Is this your floor plan? Yeah, it, that's exactly the same floor plan. Uh, so let's see. What, what is 21? One, one, four, 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 did I say 480? Oh, sorry, I meant. 380. Oh, I said 380. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, that's what I was like, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was like, let's go look at this thing. Like, what, is this that carpet everywhere? It's linoleum? Like, you're good. No, because that's why I was like, the only reason I started going here, like, I got a little pictures because, like, what did you do to yours? All right, that make, all right I'm not going to go hunting for that thing then. No, no, you're good. Because I was like, well, I mean, like, you're at 480. I thought it was going to be a Yeah, if this is your floor plan, you have it. You have, I mean, you're probably fine. Okay. That being said, I, I excluded all the new construction. Okay, so we're like right there. So I don't know what new construction is doing and offering, and that's the other thing you got to really pay attention to. And right? I they're studying all of their incentives because they're changing. I don't know if that five thousand. They still have that five. Correct. 000. If they're giving you ten plus mm -hmm. a rate buy down or that's ten that. plus fifteen thousand free of thirty thousand of incentive, like whatever their little ways of like working the numbers. Um. Because again, this is two years old, but a lot of people like that shiny brand new feel. They want to pick their own color, my own choices, my own granite. My they own... don't get to do that in that neighborhood. Okay. They do See, all I don't spec homes. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. get all spec homes. So you get what you get. You get whatever they put together. Well, I guess you're you're running fairly even with them then. I guess. I also asked for the inventory. Who's the builder there, Lenore? Lenore. I did ask for an updated um, sheet from them. Uh, and, sheet, and I just kind of went off the winner. They're selling for $760 and $720. Here we go. So mm -hmm. one is priced at $367,495. Um, and the other one's listed for $379,200. There was a different builder before one or two. So it's kind of you know, damn right. slightly yeah. higher than it was. Yours is slightly same higher than new construction. The same, same floor plan, plan. yeah. So I, if I, I went to the highest one, we're priced like right, um, like a couple. But so when you do that, we're priced. Sorry, go ahead. So when you're priced so closely to new construction, and you know that the shiny new penny may have more appeal and some incentives, mm -hmm. can you help people focus on the fact that you're leaving all the blinds? You're going to yeah. leave the wash. That's a good idea. 
and okay. refrigerator if you and want. Is there a timing? Are they all and spec already yeah, built or are they to be built up there? No. And they usually like halfway selling through. like 60 days. Uh, so they're so they're it's not they're, they're in a typical closing mm -hmm. window. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's I'm gonna say that might be your advantage that hey, we're ready now. Okay. Gonna be done we're all the same. Yeah. yeah. That's what's gonna be available. You know, what's the advantage to someone buying yours over theirs? <laughs> That thing's a lot. You gotta get the appliances. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, appliances. So are you they... gonna stage yours? Because I find that when you're in that neighborhood, that's important too. Because if you think awesome. about it, someone is online, they're looking, Here's they're gonna see thing. the shiny new staged new construction home. Correct. It is tenant occupied, so I can't do that. Ooh. That makes it even harder. <laughs> <laughs> Are they going to be cooperative for showings? Because like, I'm meeting the property manager. Oh gosh. And the tenant, so all for those tenants. So well, they are they, they are paying they are paying the tenants twenty five dollars per showing. So what I've done with tenants in the past is like, hey, we're going to do a window of opening showings mm -hmm. on this day, okay. right? Okay. That way. Two things happen. I can squeeze all the showings in that window, so okay. I can at least create some FOMO if there's an ability to. And it gives like you a window of like, hey, there's tenants, but we can get you all in during these hours of windows. Well, like during open house. I mean, that's that's okay. that's, that's what I would do. That yeah, but but I mean, um, try tenants don't want to leave the house they're usually living in. <laughs> and don't let them dictate when they get shown. Oh, really? Your seller I needs to be on your seller. I've been in that situation. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh -huh. yeah. That they'll have 24 hour notice, but then let them confirm if there are any of them in work with their schedule. Call me. Yeah. Okay. Take that conversation offline because there's been. Meet with the tenants if you can and have a conversation. Yeah, well, we are. But me and the property manager are meeting with them. When is their lease up? Uh, end of October. And they know it's not being renewed. Yeah, there we got noticed. Okay. Because if there's a hope of having it renewed, then they're definitely going to be. I've dealt with some difficult tenants that did not take care of the property and were difficult. Like, it, well, it did get to the point where we were just like, no, we're just giving you notice because you're not being responsive for the showing month. That happened one time. Every other tenant I've worked with have been kind of cooperative and have helped get it ready for pictures and for showings. I'm hoping that happens with you, <laughs> Well, I mean, I feel like you're you're pretty close spot on for the okay. resale. Like again, if we were to add in new construction, that's a lot of new construction sales. But yeah, I, I'm a big fan of. I always tell people if you're competing against new construction, you need to be at or below them. I guess. or offer what they're offering or. It's Stand tough. out with, hey, here's blinds, appliances. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. It's tough because, yeah, they just bought a couple of years ago, and it's very, it didn't appreciate that much in the last couple of years. So. And again, like, aside from 2020 and 2021, it didn't usually happen that way, right? Yeah. Like, if you bought a home two years ago and you broke even, you should feel lucky, mm -hmm. right? If the fact now that you're gonna make 10 grand, you should still feel really right. lucky. Um, I think that's the problem with our market and with our sellers is, hey, I'm not making 50 grand. Well, if you bought a home in 2018 and sold in 2020, you lost money. Sorry to tell you that. You bought a home in 2014 and sold in 2016, you broke even. Like, there's just not the way it works in this no, I, this world. That's, I saw something that was real interesting. You bought a home in 2007 and you sold in 2009, you lost a lot of money. <laughs> I saw, yeah. do you remember those corporations that were coming in? Oh, yeah. And buying oh, yeah. It? I saw one the other day. They bought it at like four twenty. They now have it on the market for three ninety nine. Mm. Open door. No. It's just by one of the guys from like Atlanta. That, it wasn't First open team. door. What was it? A, a me, no, it was what was the girl's name? Because I would. Just I think I sold one of hers too. Yeah. I would just start sending her my list. Oh, uh, I know. Yes. Uh, Not Red America. It was their company starts with an E. Talking about. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, uh, yeah, I, I can't remember the name, but I, I've sold them one of those too. This is very helpful. I but that's the thing, like the cloud, but the, having this graph is very helpful. Well, it's extremely helpful. What I'd like to do is like not include this because 
Everyone likes to do their math by that number. And sometimes it brings it up. You do a screenshot and you cut it out. You screenshot it and you cut it out. And you put it in the email. You put it in a presentation and you don't leave this on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, John, what about not like a, a big giant neighborhood? Like, like a, what's the one you have, Shelby's? Which one? The one we were looking at the other day in Monk's Corner. Um, one so those are the weeds. The ones that are yeah, so she has one. It's like it's not in a subdivision. Sure. I need to get. I actually they like. Uh, it makes it tougher. So like that would be a fun one to work on because I'm not gonna say I had the perfect answer for that mm -hmm. because they're all different. Hold on one second. Okay. What's the address? Has it been in the MLS before? Yes. Okay. One o four. Lane. L o u i s. Yes. Mom's corner. Let's make sure this is the property. And so I like to look at it before I mess it up. So, mm -hmm. Is it Louise Lane that closed for 325? Yeah. One point? Yes. I sold it for 325 and now we're putting it back on the market. <laughs> okay, so I'm not uber familiar with the area. So I'm gonna have you kind of walk me through this if you don't mind. So in this area right here, is there a bunch of homes like it in it? If I map yeah, this so out. Similar, like age wise. Okay. So let's say if I was to map out to try to get as close to proximity, um, and is this a big distance from each other from here to here? I mean, there's an airport right there. Is that? No, you need to. Um, is that more? No. More? No. Less? So more? Less? Less? More? <laughs> I live right there, so. That's I'm what I'm saying. I don't know where I'm at. I, I'm, I would like, do a circle around it. What do you do with that? Okay. Yeah. Are you? Do you live out there? No, I I, I don't live. Okay, so, so it's so 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 old. The agreement. So John. Where where Louise is? Yes. You don't want to include. So you know Louise. I'm, your guys got me in Arizona. Yeah, well, I live right here, right there. Mm -hmm. Not this. Ah, it's my house. Really into the world. Why aren't you having some there for cocktails? I've offered. Um, okay, so you want to have a map? Bring it back to me. I'm trying. Okay, so all of this area right in here is about the same. Okay. The house is right in here. Start. I'd yeah. Oh. And yep. you could even come see see this all right here. Yep. Yeah. This is see, all okay. Here. Well, that's yeah. Still trying. From East Main Street to Cooper Store Road. Yeah, I would probably yeah yeah Cooper Store yeah. No, I wouldn't go to Cooper Store. There's nothing in here. There's nothing out there. Uh -uh. I wouldn't go to Cooper Store. How far? Over. This is its own little world right here. Right there. That's good. And then come to come to this corner right here. I'm trying. <laughs> but maybe drive yeah, and then just yeah, just right right in here. Yeah, I'm up here, Bo. That's all of that is the same kind of houses for the most part. And mobile homes. These are your you areas. I'm, I'm... Yeah. Is it single you family detached? Yeah, yeah, you won't take out the mobile homes. Okay. So she said, go back and take out mobile homes. Yeah. You want to make sure you don't have mobile homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me where to go. Yeah. I don't use this. Right there. All the way up here. Mm -hmm. Now I'm confused. It. I think you have to X out on the 104, Louise. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Since some addition, since the home has last been listed. It's clicking on subtype. Control that. A lot of those houses were for public your pay because there's oh, one in the comp. I think okay. 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 There's yeah, a whole one. subsection in there. Um, to the young, go to the yeah. 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 Aren't those included too? I don't like it. edit this. That was the original. It's like a bunch of different names now, but they're not that Pretty good. Okay. Yeah. 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 This one? Yeah. Scroll down. That one closer, in there. Yeah. That's so a lot easier. That's coming off of Old Whitesville Road. There's, there's a lot of misnomers in there. So you've got land where there's a big, like, there's a couple of farms in there. And yeah, it we'll eliminate it while we yeah, there. We'll take it off. What was the address? Uh, 104 Louise. How many beds was it again? It is now five right bedrooms there. now. Uh, Lane. 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 The second one. Yep. It's now five bedrooms, two and a half baths. 
Square foot is the same? Square footage is the updated now, is correct now. 2767. It was less than 1600. Okay. Let's listen. I put your name right there. I put John, whatever. Yeah. You took the bedroom stuff out. Oh. Can you go back? I don't think I got it. We need that for the, the bedroom. Just click the off bedroom. and just redo it all over. No, hit edit. I can't work a Mac. That's my problem. So one of four, one of two. One of four. Louise. Louise. My bad. Yes. Two and a half. Does that matter for the gentleman? Yeah. Oh, it does. All set. That's nope. right. The square square finish is correct. J.R. Horton owns Mox Corner. It is ungodly what they are. They're a townhome pocket. They're coming in and buying pocket. And they're everywhere. And Hunter Quinn's got one going in on um, Gill Yard. It's crazy. What kind of left and right, huh? Oh, it's awful. So, quick question. I know I'm kind of late to the party. You're fine. Um, does age not matter? It's going to. Okay. For sure. We'll start, like, like, we're, like, again, hit the uh, average okay. price per square foot. Okay. Hit the two little squares on the bottom. I'm going to exclude that bad boy. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. um, let's go back now. Let's go back. This right here. So let's look at these. So you take that one out. So I was gonna say I, again, I'm not familiar with the subject property. So would you consider this comparable to what you have? I mean, I'm I can look at it over here. But where did one of four Louise go? Where did one of four Louise? Yeah, Because you got to study the property, right? So this is the last time you sold it, right? Yes. There's acreage factors. So I mean, how much acreage is it? Yeah. Acre. Okay, that's good to know. No HOA. No HOA. And it was a stick bill. It's not a what, mobile home. It's a stick bill. How do they increase the split footage? They ended up um, turning the garage into two bedrooms. So there's no garage now? There's no garage now. Uh huh. I don't know if this matters, but they have also added additional HVAC units. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So from your, have you looked at this a lot? Have you played on it? I mean, like in terms of like looking at the house. So if you're looking at this one, this is on half an acre, right? 395, mm -hmm. three bedroom, three bath, one story. Um, Did you see this on the bed? Hainesville. <laughs> that's very, that's a very, it's a very old section of Moss Corner. And those homes were built by one family. Wow. Hainesville was... I learned old I, block I, I moved the lady into that little area. Kitchen's really nicely updone. They're solid houses, so they just need to be updated. And this one looks like it's been yeah. this one literally has been updated really well, to be honest with you. So three ninety five, then what were you thinking you were doing yours? Sorry. Say that again. What price point were you hoping to be in? Uh, yeah, three ninety five price point. So if you were to be so if you had a guess, like your the benefits of your home are you have two extra bedrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, this on one's one acre, one acre. On, a, on a full acre of land. Yep, yep, yep. Um, square footage is not comparable. A very comparable square footage. So if I'm looking for a five bedroom home and I have 2,200 square feet, I start thinking two bedrooms are going to be a lot smaller than the rest, okay. right? Uh, again, not trying to knock anything. This one's like, five, two. This one's three, right? One's oh, it is five. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I thought we'll it was three bedrooms. Three question. Three. 
Just got nice. this is probably Jade. <laughs> so what I would do is I would go to the now the, the show showing time. Yeah. See how many showings this house got. So you're gonna also have to really make yours. The map yeah, map. yours have to be yeah, you know, they staged in equally features. Are the same are the features the same? That was three ninety five, right? Mm -hmm. That was Haynesville. No, just put, no, just put the month point. Seven, you sure we can? Yes, it's 76. Yeah. Did I say that was on the market three days ago? So we'll do the 18th. What's that address? Tra that travel, 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 Trivers. Trivers. So there's no showings since it came on the market up there? Uh, uh, oh, hold on. Yeah, that's four that's bedroom plus. Three days. Feel right, but yeah. do three. Just, yeah. Let's just do any. Do 90. Just, just see what's in that area. Quarter. So in the last month? See, this is why I, I don't think that it's as accurate. But you have very specific. 350 and 400, should you be that? Yeah, I would go to 200. Yeah, go to 200. This is how I see if I know it's working. Oh, we're in this one, too. This is your agent report. And, uh, I'm going back to my old school. So which one is the agent report? Because that's the one I only thought we had. I, that's why I thought it didn't shows the agent. Yeah, I mean, but it's the same in the new generation. You get it through the same. Okay. But the new generation doesn't give you uh, what time the house was shown. And... Just curious, why do you say about the time? Because if it was last week. I should last month. Day. Hey, no, I mean, when you say, um, I mean, like, um, they, oh, oh, the last showing, okay, gotcha. They had one showing since they listed. So it doesn't show when it was. Well, it's, a, it's in the $10,000 swing, so. 390 to 400, it's 395. But it was three days ago. So, Shani's trying to find out who you should. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, you could find out who you should. So, I mean, again, the hard part is like the last week was school starting. Yeah. So, like, right. I mean, they were in this weird period of like, is can you base it off of all showing activity? I don't know. I have one in West Ashton that for some reason is getting shown three times today. Two yeah. times the other day. No offers. But a lot of showings. Yeah. So, like, this is good just to kind of have an idea of, like, what to expect. Okay. Right? I like to say, hey, there's at least one person out there looking. And at least... <laughs> it, 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 it was a chance. And they and they apparently said no so far. And they only said and they said no so far, right? Like I saw two in Moss Grove, one shot um, one close. But going back to this chart right here, I mean it, like it, would it again, I'm not familiar with your area. I'll have to go through and like look at the home and study it. Is this pictures, can't you? Sounds there. Depends on what they yeah. there you go. I'm just saying, like, I don't want to go through every home. Yeah. Full CMA. Yeah, yeah. But like how many acres is that acres. landscape nice, two car garage. Does it say on this report? That's what I'm looking for. It's an acre of seven. Right here, Mike. So it's just over two. It two. says acreage down the window. But how many square feet is an acre? Y'all eyes are so good. I'm over here like squinting. Four, what was it? Three, seven, four, 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 three, yeah, that's what they paid for. Mm -hmm. That's what I like over here. Where's Button? Yeah, there's a couple in there. You, like the one on West End, you need to pull that one out of this comp. You don't need that, that one. one million. No, there was one, the one, the little one on West End pulled out. that one that's in the contract at 370. Where's Button? Where's your Look it up for you because I don't see it on me either. Right? Like, I'm like, what do I just do? Like, like, am I seeing things? Like, am I being that 322 button? It's showing up in the, on his report, but not showing in the list. 322 what? There it is, right there, John. Go up. There it is. Oh, thank you. How did I, how did I? 
So it is on three, eight, four acres, right? Three and a half acres. So I wouldn't say that's a comparable, right? No, so we we take him off. And then we go to this guy. New construction, probably take him off. What's that blue one up top that canceled? Uh, 104 Whitesville? You're at 549. 549. That's not going to affect the trend line, though. Okay. Like anything that's canceled, not sold, or pending doesn't affect it. It just shows you where they were. So, like, you don't have to worry about. You don't need to go there. <laughs> I mean, you could definitely know that. This guy I would try to take off too, just based on the fact that it looks like it was new construction. Um, so you start getting into. I showed that one. Yeah, how was it when you showed it? Well, it was like sick on the pig. That's what I'm thinking about. Look, but look, it was was it canceled and then relisted or price change, right? Yep. Right. Someone did the so did the old switcheroo. Take it off, that, put it on. That the right on where her cop is, that red dot. That's what I was just getting ready to go to 104. She's like 325 between. So if you had to give her a range just based on that, John, what would you say the range would from be? this one right here? Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean you're probably at Laura at like this is what 340. And this would probably be like 360, and then you're up here at like 390 and then here you are at 414 so i'd say you definitely again i haven't been in the house i don't know what the and benefits and features are either, either right? right yeah yeah, yeah. Right. so like this is just, again a snapshot of an average what are you thinking um but right here like this is probably telling you like 340 and um up here you're probably at like 3 380 and then up here you're at the 414 so you get outside this like where this guy's sitting right here he's at 395 right so he's right on the cusp of the trend line. So he's not far off of it. It should probably land somewhere in here. The problem I have is when you start looking at the trend line, how many are below the trend line? And I start wondering why, right? It's condition. Condition is probably the case, right? Um, you're hoping that's the case. Yeah, you're hoping that's, that's you know, yeah. you're hoping that's not the market like shifting things around. Um, well, at the three forty, what is that looking like? What do you mean? The, the, where the house is at the 340. So this is at 395. This is at 325. Right. This is at your 360. So there, there is there is nothing here at the 340, right? This is where I think you're sitting at 340. Oh, okay. So you come up here at 395. You're you're if you're here, you're right on the tip of that trend line for your square footage. And if to, in order to get there, you have to kind of be comparable to that and keep in mind that I mean, it's only three days, but it's only one person. But that like, considered it. Well, only one person would look. And I mean, like that looks like a really nice kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Those floors look, you know, from the yeah. photos, they look in. Inviting. I mean, it looks like someone went in there and did some nice things to it. Mm -hmm. Got out to outdoor storage. Does yours have a storage place on it? Because you lost a garage. There's something that someone could utilize to some degree. Um, I'm not saying the garage is going to be a make or break. I mean, does the shower look this nice? Right, right, right. Did they have to do the shower? Or is it just an insert? I mean, someone came in here and where you yeah, it kind of makes me want to go back and look at the history and who bought it. Is it a flip? Did someone do something? Um, but I mean, those look great. The windows even look no. Did someone say that? When they staged, look, it's staged. it's staged well. I'm telling you now, it's staging is so much more important now yes. than it was. And it does have a garage on the property, right? So there's at least one car garage. Restaged it, put it back on. It's all yeah. So I mean, this is your direct competitor. Um, you know what I typically do when I have trouble finding out if, how to do a home? I go, I go preview the competitors. I go walk them a day or two before you go meet with the seller. So you're like, you know, I was in the house, one, two, three, Trotter Street, whatever. I noticed this, that, and the other. You know, that's probably why there's going to have a little bit more value. Um, you really need to like, more than ever nowadays, you need to know what the competition is. You need to know what's going on. You got to spend a lot this is giving you a snapshot. This is not saying this is like, hey, just do this and you walk into the home and you have your pricing because that is not the case. Okay. I mean, you can approach it with other agents all the and time. I did consider it of them and give them feedback that they need to have to help them get their soul. And you can tell them, look, I've got someone that's interested in listing. 
I'll be happy to tell you about my property. You know, can I take a look at yours? Let's get both of them sold. Like I did a condo the other day, uh, and for the square footage, instead it should be four and a quarter. It's a one bedroom. There's a lot of two bedrooms. The two bedrooms are selling 460, 475, 440 in that price range. I I'm going to list it at three, 389. So the comp told me 425. I went in there and did 425. I know I would never have sold the dang thing, right? But I also pulled up the rest of the MLS area for South Mount Pleasant. I pulled up all the other one bedrooms. And I, I know the difference between East Bridgetown Lofts and, and the Meridian. Like I know there's old apartment condo conversions. I'm not built like this one was built to be a condo. So there's a little bit of value to it. But I mean, I spent a lot of time in it and I did three different trend lines for three different, the same property, three different things, neighborhood, area, and this one bedroom condo. So you 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 got to spend a little bit more time these days working on pricing. Um, and also it's not you, as simple. And give yourself grace, I think. For sure. That it's not like an you're not an appraiser. It's not an exact size no. for her because she she wants an exact number. <laughs> no, you're not. You got to give yourself grace. This is I hate to use the term, but it's an educated guess. It really is. <laughs> and, and, and like what helps you with the educated guess though is like how many people are looking in that price, price point? point. Hey, there's 15 people now looking. That, that's We're in a little playroom. Like if we don't get one of those 15 people looking at us, and we know something's wrong because like there's 15 people looking. So that's why every week I run through these data reports because like I need to know how many active buyers are looking at that weekly time frame. The judge, hey, am I good on price or is it just is the same buyer bouncing around right now? Yeah. Right. Like in Carolina Park, is the same buyer bouncing around the neighborhood? And so like we got one showing, but it's showing like five. And that's the other thing on that showing report, the newer version I'm gonna play with later on tonight. Um, but it tells you like you don't know how many people are actually looking, but that new one looks. A little bit more robust. So uh, I like that. Thank you. Yeah, like, and that's a conversation Charlize to have with your client. Look, this could take a little while. I mean, this brand new renovated house came out and it's only had one showing. It's right. Not Alex, does this show. help you? Um. Not really. No. What are you confused about? Yeah, seriously. So what are you? She wants an exact number. No, I can't give an exact number. Necessarily one exact. You can get three appraisers and get three numbers. I just need to fair enough. Yeah, I just it was just different from how I was used to doing. Right. Yeah. Um, my my um my CMAs and typically like I've been hitting my CMAs to where my CMAs and my appraisals like come out exactly. So now it's just like, okay, this is a little different than how I'm used to doing things. And I just want to make sure I and get it's, and it's it different in the sense to you also have to keep in mind time period. Mm -hmm. and like, and I keep telling y'all, we are like for us, we are back to normal. Yep. What y'all saw a few years ago was abnormal. <laughs> you could price a house at anything and it, and it was sell for more. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So it's just right. abnormal. <laughs> right. <laughs> And then when you say it hit appraisal, you also have to understand how appraisals work. They they appraise up to value. So yeah. once they got to the value, they stop. They stop. Yeah. They stop. Right. So to think it was spot on, it could have been worth right. more. But all the appraisal's yeah. job is just to get up to kind of right. But so the sign of the times is it does. It just takes a little more education. And, and, and research. And the thing is, like, look, again, you don't have a ton of active homes to compete with. So, like, you got, like, right. typically, like, Summer's Corner, Cane Bay, you got to look at how long are things sitting? Like, how long are things sitting and getting switched off the market and back on the market? Because everyone likes to play the, with the algorithm a little bit now. Like, you just really need to know, the, like, it's, we should probably go back to, like, an old school CMA class, really. Yeah. We do. I mean, because that's that's something you you yeah, should be practicing. Presentation. Your house not gonna sell the two hours. Well, that's the thing. Like, and like seasonality becomes such a factor now. Like two years ago, seasonality didn't care. Now you know, like we're past the peak closing no, they time. Didn't get any we're on the downside of it all. We're losing five percent of value right now between here and January. A lot of areas got water that didn't. Yeah. Not it's it's going to like that's just a natural progression. Time used to do his class too. He would also show. Like market pricing monitor. depending on the like yeah. the time market of the year. monitor, yeah. yeah. Again, if you if you if you want to get really good at this stuff, attend his market monitor class. I mean, if you start playing on market monitor, showing time, and you start doing CMAs on homes, like I just sit there some days and I have nothing to do. I'll just do a CMA on something I saw hop up. How is this yeah. price? How do they get that price? Because I'm always wondering, are they guessing nowadays? Are they 
they pushing the envelope? Are they actually having like they pulling comps up? I mean, I lost a three million dollar listing. So I said I was two and a half. It sold for two and a half. Damn me. Damn agent talked about five hundred thousand dollars over four months. So, um, you're doing this me right you don't break them down by the number of rooms or anything. I mean, I would like to a certain degree. I would probably like look at three to five. I mean, but because okay. your five bedroom is a like, don't take it the wrong way. It's a garage conversion. Right, right, gotcha. Like I've been in a lot of converted garages in West Ash, and it's like that's a wasted like space of living. Like it utilize right. someone's point, but like nowadays people need a garage because they ain't got no basements and and attics. And it, and like, so it's just a weird. I'm not saying it's a good thing or bad thing. I'm just saying like, right, John, do you ever get to the point? Because I've done this. I talked to them about this too. You're like frustrated? some of these, no, <laughs> some of, some of these are so like so specific. So oh, it's. Hey, I recommend you get an appraisal. Totally. I don't have the tools that an appraiser has. Yeah. And if you want to get more, especially with language. I mean, if you get, if you want to get real, 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 oh, yeah. real, di real nerdy, click on this bad boy, go around your properties and start seeing when these things last sell. Because there's off market sales, there's stuff mm -hmm. that happens all the time. Mm -hmm. But this is like, but that's, that's what I do for. Especially really specific there. stuff, yeah. You still start looking at off market. I started just seeing like what else is transferring, right? Mm -hmm. Like what what's happening behind the scenes that there's stuff that happens that we don't see. <laughs> Especially with rural property. Go ahead. They had they have pulled on there too, like the comparables. Yeah. Like it's not the same as MLS, but they do show off market. Yeah. Yep. yeah. They're not on the MLS. So you so need. Yeah. To, I, you said before yeah. it's kind of. You have to go through each one. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt. So you hit comparables here. Mm -hmm. See so you so may yeah, more. And then what is your address when you what Louise? 104. Oh, you did it for okay. button. I did it for button by accident, so I'm sorry. Here, we'll go back to Mike, it may or may not change. I don't know. Is it straight? Drive Avenue Lane. <laughs> Oh, what John is saying about practicing on comps, that's the other way to keep in touch with your past clients, especially if they like, bought like say three three years ago. Um, just offer them a free CMA. Like, hey, you want to find out how much your house is worth or don't you see how this is being done? Like you're getting got your mileage. I do home box. That's how I keep up home. with my if you have to pay for that service. It's just twenty five dollars for five hundred. Um, lender will do it on five but it's twenty five dollars for okay. five hundred houses That's not and bad. they get it every month they you can see who's looking at it okay and i, I it's a service i provide it's a service that i provide my clients so that they can keep up the value of their property just like they would look at any investment like their stocks i want you to look at the investment how accurate is it though i mean it's 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 you can think and see trends but if there's a thing on there for them to say you know do you want a cma I see. yeah Okay. And that's how I explain it. You know, I, they don't they don't see the updates you're making. Yeah. This is just going to help you keep up to date with what all the yeah. yeah. Okay. So they get a report that will what show them home this homebot dot AI home H O M E B O T dot AI. Okay. And a lot of the lenders will provide that service. Okay. Yeah. And you can just partner with them. Awesome. Thank you. But to your point, it's also a good. Um, I mean, the lipstick on a pig didn't look that bad. Like, was it really bad in time? Yeah. That might be the one. Camera magic. Down the street. I mean, it, right? Camera no, magic is no, it's not the same house. No way. I was going to say, because for 360, that doesn't look that bad. Mm -hmm. No, that's how many acres is it? Uh, hold on. I got to go back over here because I don't know what I'm looking at on this thing. You don't have to buy. You sure? Yeah. I'm not really sure how many acres. This is it right here. Look at that. Perfect. Get the Point three eight. But that's the one you said they yeah. just like slot slot. So yeah. Expired. Well, yeah, you know how pictures are deceiving. No. Oh, I know. I guess the hard part about doing CMAs now is this is probably the true trend line. Down there. But those look all like those were all. <laughs> How far back do we go? We want 90 days on this one. We want 360. Ooh, that's why. 
But do you think in an area like that you may? I know you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm just I'm then now I'm just playing with my own curiosity. I mean, people buy. I'm not. What, what's really that, close? That's a different buyer. That's not a, your typical buyer. Hoodies was different. You, when you're coming into that part of Moss Park, that's a, that's the old section. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's a person that's Never not been. looking for new construction. They're not. They're. It's a to me. It's a different. They want type land. of value. They, they want no HOA. Yeah. Yeah. No HOA. Yeah. The value is important. They're not worried about. Can you shoot guns in your yard? No one knows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just curious because you know there's there's people that like to do that. It's just a different value set. I mean, they're just. So I you. would say you're between that 340 you have a very to 395. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, five. like you need to walk the property. I'd go walk those ones that are active. Yeah, why don't 195 or no highly like with for the two nine five listing the like that. So I think you like that 340 to my range. And you'll know once you get there where to land. Or who? You want to and then you and then remember exactly. let them choose. Exactly. Right. So you know, 390, yes, we can go here, Mr. Sellers. Now let's look at this one that's listed for 390. Does your house contain a fair? Be real. Yeah. So you give it a range. Don't do what Ricky did, take it on the high side. Yeah. <laughs> Price reduction conversation up front too. Yeah, you know, you can say like what? if we don't have a showing, so then we're going to offer. Yeah, we can look at everything. Price already have that. Yeah, it works. It was a little bit tighter. So I can see you can say, and this is ninety days. Last ninety days. Yes. So good goes that one. You can't see you get it. He's on the trend line. So you're, not, you're, you're probably you're probably not far off right here. Yeah, I don't know the inside, I don't know the interior. But it's exactly that question. Walk back and walk back and walk back because if you're gonna price it as that one, the square footage isn't gonna be that big of a difference as like sway someone, right? You're getting 80 more square feet than the other one. Yeah, we probably went like three, four. It was that, yeah. okay, John, was that right click? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there was one that was three, six feet. This one? This one's the one right there. down below it. It's not that, it's not that, but the, the, the other, uh, uh, so like, for example, this one, people, it doesn't have a garage, but it's on the acre of land. So yeah. that's not like trade off a little bit. I, I mean, I. That's a, I think I don't think this is a trade off. I, I was gonna say the land, half an acre to an acre. Think of it this way: oh, I got I got to take care of more land. Yeah, I'm just playing devil's advocate, right? No, that's true. The hard part about that is that it's such a specific property in such a unique area that you're looking for that one person who wants the land that I can build my own barn slash garage or whatever. So yeah, and you guys gave me some like hard one. This one, this one's the hard one. Please say that again. Hard this is a hard, a hard one. one. <laughs> there, there, is no, there is no science to that. They get easier when you get into like the neighborhoods, but the problem is you get 500 closed homes in 60, 90, 80 days. It's pretty. Can I go one more? No. Oh, yeah. I gotta go. He's got to go. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll put my laptop up. You can go to my office. Here, I don't know how to click off I of this. I need to check out that I need to get my kids, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, said, I don't think, yeah, I think I should have picked him up. Yeah. And I got to go all the way to King Bay and pick him up. But did that help? Yeah, yeah I'm going to still practice some more because I need to just stretch it. I appreciate you. No, I'm not going to drop it.